The Core was a very interesting movie that I watched recently. Actually, I'd watched it a long time ago, but I decided to revisit it. What basically happens in this movie is that the core of the Earth stops spinning. This is what the core of the Earth looks like. If the Earth was gonna have a baby, this would be its pregnant. Wait, wait, hold on. What? Shut the fuck up. <sighs> The movie starts out with this guy who looks so kind and, well, eager and successful, and then, oh my gosh, he's dead. Turns out that people all around the world are dropping, and what is going on? Why have these people just suddenly died? First of all, it's a lot of people with pacemakers. I gotta say, just looking at the distribution of the people dying left and right, it's a freaking lot of pacemakers. I mean, what are the chances? I know it's a city and everything, but still. I mean, I even looked it up, and as of 2010, it said that about 1.5 million Americans have pacemakers. Maybe. Uh, you can say there's about 22 million, let's just say. Then people die as well. So let's say there's about 10 million. So that's 10 million out of 331 million, 2,651 people in America. I did the little calculator because I suck at math. And honestly, I only say that as a preface so that I don't look stupid if I get the answer wrong because I'm already stupid. So I'm just being what I am. But 10 million of our number, 331 million, 2,651 is basically just just 3% of the population. So you mean to tell me 3% of the population and every few feet people are dropping dead because they just happen to have pacemakers? I find that very hard to believe. Look, you don't have to even go very far. That doesn't make any sense. And by this logic, it would be like, I don't know, 70 to 90% of people that have pacemakers in America. Makes no freaking sense. You know what also doesn't make sense? This is a gas tank truck. I can't really see, but it looks like a fuel truck. And with all the pandemonium and mayhem going on around them, I get that this lady has dropped, but I don't know if you're going to try and save her life, maybe move her and all the dogs out of the way of the freaking flood of to be fire. That's honestly the first thing that would be on my mind, but whatever. This 2003 American science fiction disaster film, as it's coined, was basically a knockoff of Armageddon. And as everyone put it, instead of going up into space to prevent the world from basically caving in on itself or something eradicating all life on the planet, they were gonna go down because shit was really getting real. No, it's a parking lot out here. God. We're falling! Whee! They do the same thing where they do a little bit of so-called character building and they introduce all the characters. Hilary Swank's pilot person. She goes from being a really good pilot to being able to, I guess, control a drill that's supposed to dig down into the earth because it's all about maneuverability. There's nothing else that you have to consider when using a totally different machine. Like by default, and maybe I'm wrong, do people who can ride motorcycles, or sorry, fly helicopters also ride motorcycles? Is it like a thing where you know how to do one thing, you makes it easier to learn everything else? She is an overachiever, so maybe there's that, but it's this movie and you do what you need to do. But to be honest, I think they added her in just to be nice. Our guy here from Hunger Games is some great scientist. Got the main character, Josh, who's just the guy who's also a great scientist and tells everybody else that the world's gonna end. People don't believe him initially. And then they do believe him and they get other people. So now that he's got the world's attention, they're like, what do we do next? What are we gonna do? All the great minds are put together to fix the problem. The core stops spinning and they don't know why. All they do know is that they have to get it spinning again to prevent all the disasters that are gonna happen and are happening on the earth. So they get this inventor guy who came up with this other material. Where did he get it from? I have no freaking clue. But it's very interesting because the material that he uses for the outer coating of the drill or whatever they're gonna send down towards the earth is called this. What do you call this material? Well, its real name has 37 syllables. I call it unobtainium. Unobtainium. Mm -hmm. Interesting they should say that. Now, where did I hear that before? This is why we're here, unobtainium. You don't say whole bunch of gobbledygook happens. They dive below in the sea. They all make the progress for the journey and dive below the molten core on their way to the center of the earth. And they find out that there's a hollow earth there too. It's a space voyage, but they're not in space. They're in the earth. The ship falls to its death. I mean, the thing was falling vertical and still manages to land with a slide. I don't know how it did that. I don't know how more stuff wasn't damaged. I don't know how more of the pieces of the ship weren't damaged, but whatever, it's this movie. They're okay. Some people die, you know, the show must go on. They have to make it relatable and scary. This guy's acting was actually really, really impressive. I used to watch him in movies 
movies. I don't remember what his name is, don't really care. But when he lost his friend, I really felt like he was reenacting or pretending as though his real friend was dead. He and the French guy were so close. It was so sad, one of the saddest scenes ever. That honestly was the best part about the movie. I don't So this part was really heart-wrenching, and honestly, that stole the role for me. That made me believe that these people were really in danger, because just phenomenal actors. I mean, everybody in this movie were phenomenal actors. The movie, to me, wasn't horrible. I actually did like the movie. Serge, can you hear me? Hey, buddy, look in your monitor right now. Serge, look in your monitor. I'm right here. Scared. We're going right now. Shouldn't be two seconds, all right? Okay. <laughs> okay. You can hear me now? I'm not going to let you go, all right? After this is all said and done, all right? Serge! 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 Even looking at it now, Jesus makes me freaking cry. Like, dude, can you imagine? His friend can't see him. He sacrificed himself so that the others could go on with the mission. But he's still hoping that somehow they'll be able to override the doors. The pilot has to make a horrible decision. Now this guy is literally in a metal room being crushed to death. He's scared, he's alone, he can't see his friend, he can barely hear him. Not to mention poor Josh. Watching his friend painfully die in front of him and not being able to do anything about it. Dude, that was rough. That was rough. Now, I do agree that there are elements that they ripped off from Armageddon. Armageddon came out in 1998. This movie came out in 2003. They had this very painful, very sad, poignant area in the movie where someone had to sacrifice their life and it was so sad. But honestly, to me, this was more painful and this was a little bit better in how they executed this than Armageddon. But Armageddon as a whole was a way better movie than this. The hacking thing was ridiculous, by the way, this guy working for the government. There was a lot of ridiculousness in these movies. They do try to make them a little bit more realistic now, but of course, everyone knows it's just a whole bunch of gobbledygook makes no sense. We find out later that the Earth had stopped moving or the core of it stopped spinning because the government had sent some kind of nuke down there to test it out, to cause earthquakes or something as a weapon of war, just because they thought somebody else was doing it, or because they knew that somebody else would come up with the technology and the weaponry. It sounds so stupid, but then when you understand the logic behind it, you can kind of see where they're coming from, because it would be the worst thing if you know other people hate you, and then you have the technology to do something, they probably do as well, and there are people out there that would use it on us, and people who have used it on us. So you build one yourself to prevent it being used on you later, just so you can say, hey, I have this, so if you're thinking about building one too, or if you don't have one, you're screwed either way. Well, just like they used that nuke or whatever it was that they put down there to stop the core, they sounded off a bomb so that they could jumpstart the core again. The earth was spinning, and once again, everything was fine. And of course, they got found, even though they had no communication at the end because of the whales, because they needed a happy ending. By the way, this last part of the movie was so freaking weird. Like, it kind of gave me Mr. Robot vibes. But honestly, if back then people were entering in their personal information and then they realized that this computer is hacked or whatever, because I would readily identify that as that. Some people don't have the knowledge for it, I get it. But seeing something come up and obscure your view of what you're doing all of a sudden, if any sensitive information's on there, you would want to make sure that you unplug the computer or do something real quick. I mean, sometimes that doesn't work, but still. But everyone just sits there like, what's going on? Human curiosity, what can I tell you? Anyway, the core was good. It was nice revisiting this movie after having seen it many years ago, and I always loved disaster movies. This one was by far not the best movie, but I honestly think that it was very good for its time. Does it hold up well? Well, I think it holds up a little less than Armageddon does, but I think of this movie more so as a what if scenario. Like, what if this happened? This is what if. And here's what would happen if the Earth were to suddenly stop spinning. Anyways, that was my review of The Core. If you guys have seen it, what do you think about it? Thanks so much for watching. This has been Ultiori. You ask, we answer.